your stand jacks, whatever you've got underneath the axle, yeah. okay, undo the nuts with the weight on there, less likely to actually turn the top of the shock absorber. Okay, so you put some force on it so that... Yeah, so it isn't going to be turning, okay. The other thing you might find, like this one, because it's so corroded, the actual nut has swelled. Because we've let that go, it's dropped it's about 10 mil now onto the trolley jack that I had placed underneath, okay? okay. Um, there's no real worries, it'll only drop as far as the bushes will allow it on yeah. the C-spanners. Sometimes you have to just give it a squirt of metal or equivalent, yeah. do it back up again and then whiz it off because all it is is it gets like dry. But you have them there and then if you have like extra dropout on it and your brake pipes or everything are standard, you may actually tweak the brake pipes at an angle, yeah. the flexies. Because it will turn when you try and undo the nut, you use a chain wrench to actually hold the bottom of the damper to stop it from turning. And you have it on the lower end of the damper. Otherwise, basically, you'll be crushing the... It's not as strong higher up. All the strength is at the base, where obviously it's welded. One thing to remember when taking them all off is the actual... At the top of the shock absorber, you've got a uh, washer which seats it into the top of the turret is to remember to take that out. Otherwise, when you put the new one on, you've got two in there. You could have someone stand on here and basically get a bit of extra weight, or you can use a pry bar if it's easy enough. Let's see if this one's going to pop out, which it is. Obviously, the damper's old and used. Carefully, without beating yourself up too much, remove that. And the same process goes for putting it back in. Okay, you can catch your spring in place, put your new damper in, and then slot your spring in, because obviously, otherwise you can take your turret off and do it that way, but this way it's easier just to slot it all in. Right. So basically you've got build up of rust and scale, which will impair the, uh, the new washer seating washer on the top there okay obviously you haven't got an on the bottom now because it was the one that sat in at the top here you just need to make sure or put your hand up in the inside and check it's not there okay obviously these are handed a's and b's a's go on the driver's side because if you see normally they're slightly handed with a difference in height on the new dampers they come with like the overspray of paint on them if you put them on a wire wheel and just take off the paint Otherwise, you, sometimes you can get it on there and it'll try and either cross thread or it'll just be tight to do up. It's good practice just to prime the damper up as well, just to make sure that it's all ready to go. Most of the time, like this one, how? Most of the time, we're doing this now, most of the time they'll actually open themselves fully up, okay? Yeah. Sometimes they don't, so you just basically can open it fully, compress it, open it, just to get all the oil moving around inside. that there the bush will actually hold it stop it from dropping anyway okay, okay. okay there we go thank you Nick now I'll do the other side the face washer bush and then the top washer or bottom washer depending on see which way up and that basically locates it in all in the, the turret or in the actual axle and this basically stops the movement forward and back and centralizes it in there Okay, Nick, thank you very much. Now that's back in place. Okay? The same as what you had before, both sides, okay? So, and again, top, bush, washer, okay? And just basically get the 
top of the shulker so we're caught on the top. Otherwise, you can, you can either catch it now or you can do the bottom up, then jack it up and poke them through. Washer yeah. with the recess on it so it sits in the top of the turret. Then you washer, or sorry, bush, then you washer. Okay. Okay. One thing to do tap the spring. onto the seat. Once you got it down on the deck, it will sit in there anyway. Okay. Okay. Just to take the weight of it, that's all we're doing. You've got the bushes, or the bush, you've got normal one. The washer here, you've got with a curve, yeah. okay? Flat goes, obviously, on the outside. And then you have another one of these on the inside. Just remember, when you take it off, that you actually do have another washer on the inside. So this one stayed in place. But sometimes, if you're not paying attention, you could actually remove that one and yeah. have it stuck to the back there. So when you go to put your new one on, it's floating around, okay? You don't really want to snap the captive nut off or the bolt off okay. with the captive nut. Otherwise, you have to get a chisel on there and then knock it off and put nut and bolt on. The early ones are normally captive. And the later ones are normally nut and bolt. You also have two washers that sit underneath this plate. Okay. Right. And you could actually have coil clamps and just basically retain them up, pull them out easier. Yeah. You can take it with the actual base washer or base mount, or you can take it without. This is rotten in there, so as you can see. Just scabs up. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. yep. You just have to be careful of these that they actually do stay in place because if it comes off, it could take technically take your head off. Okay. Yeah. Seen what was it college? <laughs> okay, I'll straighten this one again on the anvil. And again, washer. Then you got your plate. Okay. So that's all now in place, all done up. And you can see we've still got the washer on the inside there. Okay, ready for the new shockers. You have to put the top bush in. Okay. So a bit of lubrication on it, in a vise, pop it in. Okay? okay, then you've got your bits again, your two cups, two washers, all right? On the back end, okay? And it's easier to put this on first and then put the bottom in, rather than doing yeah. that and then bending it in, all right? And then you've got your old washer, mm -hmm. goes back on there, and you've got with your nut. Round side in, yeah, round side facing in, okay. with the flat in the out, okay? And on the back end here, washer, bush, cup, and then obviously, cup the other side, yeah. all right? Now where we are. Seat in all right everywhere. And again on the strongest part, the shock at the bottom. 